So tell me why you won't be when I ain't nothing like you usual. I don't prance around, I don't fuss and pout, and I don't play the mood illusional. So tell me why you call me and say my name like it's a prayer. I don't buy your wares, I don't swoon and swear. As a cobalt blue Hello Gorillas, I'm your boy Chef Perry, the vegan gorilla. Today I'm gonna make up a little uh brekkie. Uh, something to eat for breakfast, one of my favorites. A little breakfast hash. Not the kind you think of. This is nice potato, some mushrooms, their bell pepper, some onion, a little bit of seasoning. And that uh, simple to put together, you can have it as a breakfast. I, I usually do, and pop a little guacamole on top. And you can use a taco filling, you can put it in a wrap. So it's pretty versatile. Uh, I've got the pan heating up here. Got the mushroom, or my mushroom, my potatoes all cut up here. I'm gonna get that started. And my seasoning. I got some nice seasoning. No, I'm not there right now. Got some Himalayan salt. Garlic powder. Smoke a great job. Okay. Just some measurements. Two teaspoons, two teaspoons. Let's go with uh, beef thing. Beef thing. Okay, so it's got a little bit of uh, olive oil in here. A cast iron pan. Got my potatoes heating up. Next thing I'm going to put in my uh, onions. Get them all chopped up. Now the onions I like to get a little soft and transparent a little bit. So I put those in the potatoes. They take a little bit longer. Mushrooms don't take as long. Peppers, probably go next, mushroom glass. Um, I'm going to start seasoning this now, so get these all open. You see, I got a little jar here. These are little mason jars, you know, mason jars. Just label everything, so I got a whole bunch. I need to see my cover for later. There's a bunch in there. And uh, makes it easy. So I like to uh, blend a lot of spices together and uh, make up my own stuff on that, my own seasoning. So I often do that. I don't know if you guys cook with cast iron uh, pans at all, but they're really great. Again, it offers that iron uh, that your body gets, picks up a little bit from that flavor. Um, never wash it with soap, with water, hot water, scrub it down. Heat it to dry it and uh, heat it back up. Put a little oil on it. Some of course, if I'm not going to open up. But I can do a video on that another time if you guys are interested. Just let me know uh, how to treat your cast iron stuff. But I, I like them. So I find they're like kind of really good. So let's put a little, uh, put a little half a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Half a teaspoon of the Himalayan salt. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And kind of at, at the end because uh, they're thicker to dehydrate, so I want them to come alive towards the end uh, and absorb up some of the flavor. So get this mixed up. I'm going to add a little bit more spices. I'm just going to do half an hour. I got this, this stuff going. So, look at that. Kind of nice. And I'll throw it together a little quick uh, block. Not a traditional guacamole that I make usually I just get like that. Maybe you start to make like a, one one avocado, uh, a little bit of lemon juice, lime juice in there, salt, pepper, crush it up. I don't go all out with the onions and all that, it's just a biscuit add-on, so uh, it's not traditional how I make my guacamole, but it definitely is nice for a nice topping on that, so I'll show you at the end anyway. 
I'll get that in there now. I'm going to throw in my peppers, bell peppers. Looking good, looking good. Let that cook for a bit. And then the mushrooms are going to go in. But you know what? You know, it's time for a little bit of love. This is love. So this is real simple to make. You get onions, potato, bell pepper, mushroom, four ingredients, some seasoning, herbs, and you get an awesome breakfast, uh, awesome taco filler, you know, an awesome filler for burritos. You can pop it on anything, you can eat it with crackers if you want. It's just an overall uh, the pre workout I find too. I'm going to have a work, little workout a little later on today. Maybe about an hour and a half from now after eight. And then uh, this will give you some nice fuel. So there's eight pounds. That's just a nice and crispy. So we'll let that cook for a bit. And then we'll, uh, oh, almost forgot. Black pepper. You got a black pepper. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Easily, but once you treat this several times and use it lots, I mean, mine's pretty good actually. Things don't really stick to the bottom too much, just uh, sometimes it gets a little bit, but uh, it's, I've treated it so many times, it's, it's almost like a death on hand now. So these babies will last you for generations. So uh, I'm going to let that cook and get some drink. We'll do that, and we'll put the mushrooms in and keep on cooking. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, folks, I'm back. Our potatoes, onions, and peppers are starting to crisp up nice here. Getting nice and cooked. It's a good, much longer, really, an extra five or six minutes, really. Uh, so now I'm going to throw in our mushrooms. Got lots of mushrooms here. It's probably a pretty even, uh, even base between mushrooms and, and potatoes. Uh, onion, I used about half a whole onion, a good size one, actually. It's about that big. Um, again, I'll list all the ingredients and stuff. So down below so you can have it. And uh, uh, it's about maybe two, I think it was, well, it was two potatoes, I think it was mushrooms. The mushrooms was about eight ounce packed of mushrooms. Um, yeah, just mix it all up and it's, it's, it's just gonna be such an awesome, awesome meal. You'll see as this comes together here. Put that cook for a little bit. And I need a little bit more olive oil. Don't have it there, but I do have it here. Just gonna add just a drizzle or two of olive oil to these mushrooms. A little more soaked up. That'll be better. We'll let this cook down. In the meantime, I'll make a little quick walk. Uh, tossing that I was uh, talking to you about, not really block, but kind of, put a half a block. Okay, so let's get a little bit more seasoning in here. Do it half earlier, another half. Sea salt, garlic powder, smoked paprika. Love the smokiness. Love the color. And now I'll add my dry, uh, my dry, this is dry, 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 a little more green color. Two, two, two pieces of that. Get that mixed in there. I wish you could smell it, it smells really good. Really good. All right, let this sit for a minute, cook a bit more. Almost done. Meantime, let's get our little top of our avocado. So we'll take our avocado, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it. Uh, out of there. Now I like to use a spoon, because that way I get it right down to the skin. Don't waste 
Okay. As you can see. Well, that was good. Obviously, that's not for me. It might be too much for you. I use half, but if you have a few people and you're making this for, uh, you'll probably want to use more than one avocado. So I have a little black pepper in there. Splash of lime juice. Not too much. A little bit of pinch, pinch of sea salt. Is this a quick stir at any time? Make sure nothing's sticking and all that good stuff. What do you think, bro? Looking good? Me too. Alright. A little pinch of garlic powder. And then I'm just going to put it mash it up. I mean, I know in stores they sell it almost like a puree. I don't really care for that myself. I like my uh, my avocado chunky. So I like a little bit of puree, but not, not too much. I do like it chunky, but more like a mashed potato with lumps, basically. That's kind of how I make mine. A little taste test. And just splash more lime. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so that's how I like mine. Nice place. Oh, it's looking so good. Okay. This is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to plate this. I'll come back. I'll give a taste test. I'll uh, tell you how many girls I think. I think I already know because I made this before. And uh, I didn't buy it. I mean, it's me cooking. So how could I get myself a two or three tiers? Although it does happen. It does happen. But uh, let me get this done. Plate it up. And I'll be right back. Okay, folks. We are done. We are done. It's time to eat. Look at that. I think you not want that for breakfast. Hey, okay. Nice potato, crispy potato, a little pepper, a little onion. I know I'm not one likes onions and mushrooms or not, but you can omit those if you want. But uh, the combination I find goes together great. A little dollop of my avocado on there. Let's give it a shot. Gotta have it with the avocado though. It cools things off a little bit. Oh, still steaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. This is an awesome breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast, a cup of coffee, of this. Yeah, it's not even Sunday morning, but it's Monday morning. Mm. Nice. I'm going to give that a five out of five grills. No surprise there. Oh, okay, I'm going to finish this. Um, that was really good. I'm going to work up about an hour and a half, burn off some of those calories, hopefully. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll keep doing videos and share my recipes for you. But I'll see you again, or if we do see you again, stay much love. Be kind.